10, 9. This does not look like food at all. Coal and venom? Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Christmas is almost here and I need to do some Christmas drinks. But I don't have much time, so I need to do this quickly. So I'm using this drawing compass to make these circles. It will kind of look like the Starbucks logo, but instead of a mermaid, it will be Santa. Yep, we're doing the official Santa drink. And let's draw Santa wearing some sunglasses because he loves to drink this, especially when he's on vacation relaxing on the beach. Now, according to tradition, as we all know, Santa enjoys a little bit of milk and cookies, something he can nibble on while he travels. But the drink we're doing is on a whole other level. It's very rare and filling and oh boy for most people if they drink this quickly they would get overwhelmed and get a stomach ache but for santa this will be the perfect amount he's a big guy so if he wanted to he could probably chug this whole drink in a few seconds and be perfectly satisfied i just need to color this in and then i'll be almost done with the santa drawing now for this drink i need to get the ingredients from buddy the scout elf and the elves, they are very particular about how this drink is made. In fact, I'm not even supposed to drink this unless it is officially approved by an elf. Yeah, I know, uh, the taste and the presentation need to be spot on. They really want to keep this as a high quality drink. Even if the taste is just slightly off, an elf will notice the difference and won't consider it to be an official Santa drink. And there we go. So now that the drawing is done, I can place it onto this really big cup. But the problem is, is that this drawing is too big. So I went ahead and redrew the logo smaller. This way it will fit better. Oh, but before I place the drawing on, I want to paint the cup red so that it looks more like a Christmas cup. I'll be right back. That's a lot better. Okay, now I can place it on. That's perfect. Just the way I wanted it. Okay, let's take a look at this ingredients list so that I can make this drink. <sighs> so, buddy, uh, how are you doing? Uh, oh, don't worry, I won't touch you. I just need to get the, the Santa drink ingredients. Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see what's on this list. I'm so happy that Buddy is letting me do this. This is usually just for elves. Oh, Santa drink. Oh, this looks interesting. This is gonna be a very Christmassy drink. Oh wow, there's toppings too? Okay, this looks amazing. Uh, I need to go get all of these ingredients and then we can do this. I have this cup measure, which will help me get the exact amounts of liquid. Now for the first ingredient eggnog. Now, I don't really like the taste of this stuff, but it is pretty much the most Christmas drink out there, so it makes sense why this would be in the Santa drink. Yeah, Santa, oh, he loves eggnog. Now for some chocolate protein milk? This is kind of a surprise for me. I guess Santa's been working out and wants to change up his diet a little bit, which is kind of funny because this is still a very sugary drink. Actually, I want to take a sip. Hmm, well, it's not exactly like chocolate milk, but hey, I guess it will do. I mean, if this is what Santa wants, then we're gonna do it. Muscle milk? Man, he's really going all in with these protein drinks. Well, this one doesn't have any sugar in it, so maybe it's a healthier drink. Uh, I think I'll try a little bit. Hmm, uh, actually, I like the taste of this one better than the chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> good thing Santa isn't lactose intolerant. Oh, wow, Starbucks vanilla latte? Yeah, Santa is definitely a Starbucks guy. This is a lot though. The ingredients list said I need one cup of this stuff, but hey, with this vanilla latte mixed in, it gives this drink much more of a reason to be served at Starbucks. Cranberry juice? Uh, I don't know if this should be mixed in with milk. Like, I know people drink this during Christmas, but it's definitely a weird combination. Well, it's only three tablespoons, so I'm assuming that the cranberry taste will be very faint. Oh yeah, Coca-Cola, another one of Santa's favorite drinks. In fact, years ago, Santa and Coca-Cola made a partnership to put his face on Coke during the Christmas season. Now, again, I need three tablespoons of this drink, so it will have a, a slight Coca-Cola taste. Wow, it's weird to be drinking normal Coca-Cola again because I got so used to drinking Ant-Man Coca-Cola. Oh, 
I need to show you something. So, it took a while, but I finally drank all of the Ant-Man Coca-Cola. I know, it's crazy, right? Anyways, I'm getting distracted. I just need to blend up this Santa drink. This is our important step because the elves can tell if the ingredients were mixed or not. It should be perfectly blended together. Now, if I did all the measurements correctly, this should fill up the cup and still have extra room for all the toppings. Oh, that smells pretty good. Just need to get all of these bubbles in there. Oh, come on. I just need to shake it a little bit. Uh, there it goes. Mini marshmallows. Yeah, we definitely need these in the drink. I'm not sure how many, but that's a good amount. Whipped cream. Oh, I want a lot of this. <laughs> if Santa drank this, he would get whipped cream all over his beard. Now that's a satisfying sound. Just a little bit more. Yeah, that should do. Sprinkles, of course. And these are the star-shaped sprinkles. For me, they don't add much to the taste, but they help make the presentation of the drink uh, more appealing. Now these are interesting. It's cinnamon sticks. Well, I guess they add to the flavor. Uh, I'll place one right about here. Uh, peanut M&Ms, oh, these are the best. I like these better than the normal M&Ms. They have such a satisfying crunch, but I better be careful because once I start eating these, oh, it's so hard to stop. And it's not a Christmas drink without a candy cane. So I just need one. This will add a little bit of a peppermint taste to the drink. If I can just get the plastic wrapper off. But more importantly, it really makes this stand out as a special Christmas drink. Uh, I think I'll leave it like that. And don't worry, I did not forget about the cookies. These are great chocolate chip cookies. Very tasty, just the way Santa likes them. And I think I'll do just two cookies. Oh, I can't wait any longer. This looks absolutely delicious. Here it is. I also added a straw that looks like a candy cane. <sighs> oh, I can't drink this yet. Uh, it needs to be approved by an elf. Uh, and since I have Buddy here, I might as well. Uh, Buddy, I'm gonna move you down to the table. Yeah, if you can just taste this drink and see if you approve of it. I, uh, oh, there's another thing I need to do. Uh, I'll be right there. I need the stamp of approval. This will be placed on the back of the cup by an elf if the drink passes the elf's examination. I was thinking that this Santa drink could be sold at Starbucks during Christmas time, but that means that Starbucks would also need a full-time elf on the shelf, taste testing all of the Santa drinks. And this drink would probably be a big seller too, so that's a lot of Santa drinks to test. But from what I've heard, elves' bodies are different from humans, so they can consume a lot more sweet stuff than we can. In fact, elves pretty much only eat sugary things. They try to stick to their four main food groups, which are candy, candy canes, candy corns, and syrup. You can see why they are so particular when it comes to sweet drinks and food. Oh yeah, another thing is that elves, well, especially scout elves, they do not want humans seeing them moving around. They like to pretend that they're just toys. It kind of reminds me of the Toy Story movies where the toys are really alive, but they cannot let people know. Well, sometimes people do see them moving, but oh, almost there. Just need to fill this in and oh, that looks pretty good. Okay, it's all ready to go. So I'll place the stamp right about here. I need to slide you over. Oh, that straw's a little too tall. Uh, oh wait. This candy cane box should work. Yeah, that should boost you up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, feel free to take a sip whenever you want. And don't worry, I won't get offended if you don't like it. Uh, I'll just be over here. I won't look, I promise. I'll give you a countdown. Oh, if you do approve of it, just use your magic uh, to put the stamp on. Okay, uh, here I go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, I I'm gonna turn around now. I I'm gonna look. Uh, no way. <laughs> well, thank you, buddy. I guess it's all approved and it's ready for me to drink now. Oh, whoa. It's 
Very rich and creamy. I can see why Santa would really like this. It's even sweeter than I thought it would be. It's kind of like a, a coffee milkshake, except uh, not as thick. I'd have to give this, uh, ooh. I'm gonna give it nine Santas out of 10. Okay, so I know you wanna see this next one, even though this might be a really big problem for me, uh, but I'm still gonna do it. And here's the ingredients list, but I'm not gonna look at it yet. Well, maybe I'll take a peek. No, I need to do the drawing first. Okay, so I have to admit, I took a peek at the ingredients list and I'm not looking forward to this. There's some stuff on there where I have a bad feeling about. Anyways, from what I know, the Grinch also consumes a lot of food and drink. In fact, there's a scene in the newest animated Grinch movie where the Grinch runs out of food because he's been eating like crazy. Even Max is out of dog food. So therefore the Grinch has to go down to Whoville to get some more food. However, it's almost Christmas and the Grinch hates Whoville, especially when the Who's are in the Christmas spirit. And yep, we're calling this Grinch energy. This will give him a boost for sure. It might also make him go absolutely crazy. He probably drank this stuff right before going and stealing all of the Who's Christmas presents and decorations. The movies even show him stealing the roast beast, the Who's pudding, and a can of Who hash. Actually, I've heard that at Universal Studios, you can buy a can of Who hash during Grinchmas. It's a combination of corned beef, tater tots, and like green onions. Uh, but anyways, if this Grinch energy tastes bad, then I think I'll be able to handle it. I mean, I've tried some pretty bad drinks in the past. I just hope that there's no side effects because the last thing I wanna be is a Grinch. Like what even is the Grinch? He's not really a who, but at some point when he was a baby, he was adopted by the who's. Uh, the Grinch definitely has a very mysterious past. And well, it is completed. Wow, that really stands out. Now that I've got the drawing done, I'm gonna place it onto this monster energy can. I know, this is crazy. Uh, wait, there's still some monster drink in here. Well, this drawing is actually a little too big, so I need to redraw it a little smaller. There we go. And I also went ahead and I painted the monster energy can white. So hopefully this will fit now. Uh, Whoa, oh yeah, this actually looks like a drink you would buy at a store. The nutrition label is just a placeholder for now. I like how it says 100% naughty. Well, it's drink time. <sighs> and here it is. It's just that a, well, you'll see. Grinch energy. Uh, it has water, sugar, 7-Up, pudding, which is kind of weird, but I mean, it's fine. It's just down here, there's coal and venom? I mean, you you gotta be kidding me, right? Uh, uh, well, I guess I should go get these ingredients. I'll see what I can do. Uh. So according to the ingredients list, I'll need one third cup of water and one third cup of sugar, and I'll mix it all together. Now I'm gonna place this in the microwave for about 30 to 45 seconds until the sugar has completely dissolved into the water. So I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, the sugar has dissolved and the water is clear. Now, I need some evaporated milk. Yeah, this stuff by itself tastes horrible. It's not sweet until you mix it in with something. So let's stir this up. And with the large pitcher, I'm gonna add some green food coloring. I'm not sure how much, but I guess I'll place in a few squirts. Well, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, that should be good. And let's pour this in. That's a vivid green color, all right. It reminds me of the green Hulk chips with the food coloring. Okay, stir it all up so it's nicely mixed. And the next ingredient is 7-Up. Yeah, this will make it taste a lot better and it will be more bubbly. I might as well fill up the rest of the pitcher. This is gonna be a lot of Grinch energy, but that's all right. I'll eventually drink it all. Well, unless it tastes really bad, then I don't know what I'll do. This would have been a mistake. Uh, oh no. I know the ingredients list said to use coal, but I don't wanna die. I hope the Grinch doesn't mind. So I got this type of coal instead. It said to use five pieces. Let's take a closer look. Oh, this does not look edible. Okay, so here's the deal. What I have here came in a little bag called 
double crisp coal. So the outside is just the wrapper, but on the inside is cold chocolate. Actually, it looks more like normal chocolate. I mean, at least I hope there's no coal inside this chocolate because that would be an awful surprise. But anyways, let's go ahead and smash these up before we throw these pieces into the drink. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to use the big blender to really mix this up. I don't want large cold chunks floating around in the Grinch energy. The consistency should be more smooth. Look how much green foam there is. How did this happen? Uh, well, let's pour this in. I don't know about you, but this doesn't look tasty anymore. Yeah, might as well get it all out. It kind of looks like that fluffy soap. And here comes the cold chocolate, which it now looks like dirt. Oh, but we also need some jello pudding. This stuff tastes pretty good. The Grinch actually really likes who pudding and eats quite a lot of it. Hopefully this vanilla pudding will help the drink taste better, but I don't know, this is looking really weird to me. Now it said to use venom, so I went ahead and got this. Venom Energy, the Mojave Rattler edition. I've never even tried one of these before. In fact, I didn't even know this was a thing until now. Imagine if I would have used this with the venom bubble gum that I did. Oh, if I did that, I probably wouldn't have made it. Oh, look at that color. It looks like, well, I better not say. Oh, this is not good. Bring it on. Okay, it's just a little bit longer. Oh, it's starting to come out the sides. Okay, okay. Here's the can and, oh yeah, there's still some monster in here. Oh, well, it's just gonna have to mix with the Grinch energy. Oh, brother, this looks like algae. I don't even think Max would drink this stuff. This is like a Who's Worst Nightmare. Ugh. Oh, man. Uh, I really shouldn't be worried about this, but I never know. The combination of some ingredients can end up being really bad. I. Oh, where did Buddy go? Oh, I hope I didn't scare him off by doing this drink. Uh, well, it's now or never. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That can't be right. Uh, I need another sip. Mmm. -hmm. This is actually really good. Usually villain drinks like this taste super bad, but I guess the Grinch has really good taste. It's like if green sherbet was a drink, but it also has this strong uh, bubbly kick to it. Well, it is an energy drink. I'd have to give this a, uh, oh, I hope Buddy doesn't hear me or else he'd be really mad. I'm gonna give this nine Grinches out of 10. Yeah, the same as the Santa drink. And best of all, I don't think this is gonna have any side effects. This next one might be one of the most unique desserts I've ever done. I don't even have an ingredients list for this one. Actually, I don't even have a drawing for this one either. I'm just gonna go all out. And it all starts with this. This is a shaved ice machine. I just need to open this up and put ice in here. Uh, what's this? Where did this come from? Uh, anyways, uh, let's fill this up with ice. So this pops off and it will fit about two handfuls of ice at a time. And once I click the top back on, it starts spinning and grinding it all up. Oh, cool. I used to have one of those hand cranked ice machines and those were a lot of work but this looks like it's gonna be a lot better. Okay, let's keep this going. So while I have that going, here is what we're putting the ice dessert into, and I poked a hole through it. This is where the straw goes. It also comes apart. This way it's easier to fill. Oh, this has to be the most unique container I've ever used. And I have two of these to fill up. Oh, I need to add some more ice to this. I want enough to be able to fill both spheres all the way to the top. Oh, it's been such a long time since I've eaten shaved ice. Oh, look at that. We already have these little mountains of ice forming. This is gonna taste really good when we add all of the other things. Uh, oh, I need to show you what I got. So I got these frozen two toys and I'm gonna pick two figures that I can place inside the ice balls as a surprise. You know, like when you find a toy at the bottom of a cereal box or in a Happy Meal. 
And since I only have two spheres, I think I'll go with... Anna and Elsa. Yeah, let's go with sister power. Oh yeah, uh, just a second, I need to go add some more ice. This machine sure grinds the ice pretty fast, which is great. I just hope it, uh, wait, what? Oh no, oh, I thought this wouldn't happen. Wait, it's on this arm too? Oh, it's really spreading over here. Oh, this is really bad. Uh, wait. It's like everywhere. It's all over my face. You gotta be kidding me. Well, at least it doesn't hurt. It's actually, it's actually kind of soft. It's like the Grinch uses shampoo and conditioner. Uh, but I need to get rid of this. Uh, where's the Santa drink? Uh, yeah, a few sips of this should get rid of it. Yeah, that should do the trick. You just need to wait a little bit and this should go away. Well, I need to get back to this. I'm almost there. Well, let's get this going again. I'm almost there anyways. Now, I need these glasses to put the balls on so that they don't roll away. Yeah, round spheres might not be the most practical. Now, we can fill these up and I'll start with some vanilla ice cream. Actually, you know what? I heard that Disneyland is building an entire frozen world that people can go and see. It will be the kingdom of Arendelle, but they should sell frozen desserts in a bowl just like this. I'm sure these would be very popular. So I ended up doing another cycle of ice and I think we have enough now. It's just, I'm really starting to freak out because this is not going away. It's just getting worse. This doesn't make any sense because the opposite of the Grinch is Santa. So why isn't this working? Maybe it just takes a while to kick in. Well, the ice is all ready to go and I have this scooper. So I'm gonna place the ice onto the ice cream. Oh, and another thing, if people bought this dessert at the Frozen theme park, they could reuse this round container and store other treats and toys inside or transform it into a giant Christmas ornament. That would be pretty cool. Okay, let's get Elsa and Anna and I guess I'll lay them in the ice. I'm sure Elsa won't mind. This is perfect for her. Uh, sorry, Anna, it might be a little cold for you. Oh brother, this Grinch fur is crazy. Now for some leaves, and they're the perfect color too. I might as well eat one. Mm. Hmm, they don't have much of a taste to them. Actually, these are edible leaves for cake decorations. They do look very realistic though. People would probably be very surprised if they saw these leaves in their frozen ice dessert. These leaves go perfect with the Frozen 2's fall theme. Rocks. I have four different colors here, but I think I'll use the blue ones and the purple ones. Wow, these crystals really stand out. Yeah, Elsa should have the blue rocks. Let's just spread them around a little, maybe a little bit more. Oh, I should try one of these. Uh, hmm. Hmm. A little crunchy, but not too bad. And Anna will get the purple ones. Yeah, speaking of rocks, in Frozen 2, there are these giant rock monsters that Anna has to run away from. It's time to add the flavors, so I need to go get the ice syrup. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, these should work. Oh, this is ridiculous. It's covered by entire hands. It's hard to even pick things up anymore. Oh, come on, Santa drink. There has to be at least a little bit of magic in this liquid. Isn't that what Santa's all about? Okay, uh, here we go. I'll use this one, the blue raspberry flavor. It will go well with the Elsa ice. What's crazy is that this does not look like food at all. Oh, that's weird. The blue syrup is turning the leaves green. It must be some type of reaction. And I think the grape flavor will go well with the on ice. Just need to spread it around here. It's so cool how it seeps into the ice. You know, it looks like one of those geode rocks that's split in half. These look pretty good. Well, they're definitely unique. Now, I'm gonna fill the rest of these with shaved ice and add some more syrup on top, but I'm gonna jump ahead and show you the final results. And here they are. Yeah, Elsa and Anna, they're in there somewhere. I think I'll try this one first. Mmm. That's a lot better. 
I really like the blueberry syrup. It's probably my favorite. Uh, oh, I need to try the Ana Ice. <clears throat> Whoa, that's really good too. Uh, I'm gonna try some of the ice part. Mm. Oh, wow, uh, brain freeze. Oh, too much. Uh, okay, I need to calm down. Wow, in terms of taste, I'd have to give these, uh, I'm gonna give it eight Frozens out of 10. This might be the first time that I don't get rid of the side effects. This Grinch fur is just not going away. Uh, in order for this to disappear, I'd probably have to drink this entire Santa drink. And I'm just way too full right now. Uh, well, I need to end this video, so thank you so much for watching. Merry Christmas. You guys are the best. Like, subscribe, hit that bell. Don't be a Grinch, and I'll see you in the next video.